the University of the Western Cape, known as UWC, um, it is one. It is one of the university which is well known for its struggle against apartheid, and according to them, it continued to fight against oppression, discrimination, and disadvantage in modern day South Africa. This is one of the university that has been at the forefront of South Africa's historic transformation, playing a leading and a unique academic role in helping to build an equitable and dynamic nation. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you want to study at this University of Western Cape? Well, invite your friend, your colleague, your family member, or whosoever that you know that really need help with applications. So before we can do the application, Manoba here was all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambition and reinforce their dreams. As you know, the applications for the academic year 2022 are open for these universities and the application will close on 30 September except for Bachelor of Denti Dentistry and uh, Orally Healthy, which closes on 31st of August. So it's one month earlier than the the 30 September. So there's no application fee that is needed. Uh, all applications must be completed online. Mm -hmm. Supporting document must be submitted before the closing date, which is before 30 September or before 31 August. So you will need to have a valid email address and a cell phone number so that all communication can be done correctly. You will need to, you can use a Gmail, a Yahoo or mail or any other email uh, provider you may prefer it's up to you but they should be uh, valid and everything so contact details for the university uh, will be found on the description of this video uh, below so without wasting any time go to any internet browser that you're using so i'll be using google chrome then once you are there go and type uwc.uwc.ac.za then you click enter then once you are here, you can either click here, apply now, or you can scroll down and come where it says admission. So uh, click where it says apply. Then once you are here, you can click here, apply here, or you can scroll down and click here where it says apply now and everything. So either way, let's click here. Then it will take you to this uh, symbol steps and everything uh, whatsoever. So you know application will close on the 30 September as I've said and everything. Yeah, um, no application application fee that is available. If you are applying for the first time, you have to click here. If you are returning, you will click here. So let's click here for new applicant. Then uh, you have to enter your information here, your setting. Let's enter our surname, our names. Enter email address. Confirm it. Then have you studied at, at the UWC before? You can indicate if you have. If not, you leave this uh, as it is. Are you transferring from another university? You can indicate if you are. Uh, applicant type, are you, applica are you applying as an undergraduate or postgraduate? So it's undergraduate. Then are you using a South African ID or foreign passport? You can choose whatever you are using. So let's leave it here and then enter your ID number. So if you have a student number at the university, you can enter it here, then click Submit. Then click Submit. Then it, it will take you to the next page where you have to enter your title, uh, your initials. Then uh, confirm your surname and, and everything, your name, state of birth, your email, it has been chosen. For that, I merit, you will indicate that. Uh, if I'm married, you enter your home language, 
last uh, school year when last did you complete school if you are doing metric you'll click here 2012 if you are still doing it uh, previous activity what we're doing you can indicate um, university matriculation uh, or school authority choose with your look at at your um, what is this your province then education department and everything population group indicate um, era of permanent residence where are you staying or something like that you can choose with the province and everything is it a rural or urban area you can click it's urban that one then you click submit so once we are here study type please select your study type would you like to study full-time or part-time so we'd like to study uh, full-time for the year 2020, 2022 obvious semester uh, for the whole year um, then we have to choose your first choice here um, start uh, by choosing your faculty which faculty do you like um, I like something like uh, they don't have my faculty uh, 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 I like engineering me. Uh, let's let me check at communication. Let's choose the program under communication. Let me choose something like uh, computer science. Then for second choice, you can also choose. Uh, let me go to this again, and then let me choose. Uh, met this mathematics and everything. So uh, medication, uh, medication condition, do you have any medication condition? You can indicate here. Uh, would you like to apply for residence or something? You can indicate as an undergraduate or yeah, everything. Then click submit. After you've done that, you will require your addresses. You can enter them here. So street name and street number and everything. Uh, they need it, your suburb, it is not combustor, town, city, country, you enter your postal code and everything, you enter cell phone number, you enter your email address. Uh, so this is a postal. Um, then you also confirm copy uh, from address. You can say it is the same as the postal. Then they will make the same thing here. Uh, then you click submit. So that has been done. Go to the next of kin information. As you can see that you see that when you are doing the application, this petrol is charging this one. So now you can assume that you have to complete all of these steps. Your uh, is too much. Then um, tightly initials of the person that you are staying with. Uh, you have to choose. Then click continue. Send in of that person. Uh, names of that person. Uh, relationship with that person you can indicate uh, how are you related with that person say relative uh -huh. so next of kin address you can choose this one so that they can copy your addresses if you're still if you're staying together and everything then after that all of this information it is not comes up then you click submit then after that your matriculation board already before you selected that it is the Bumalanga education or something like that then you choose your school around there uh, then you enter school you can search it uh, with the name for example if it was Louisville you click uh, the first initial then to, to shorten the selection then the result uh, result submitted for um, Final grade 12, you will submit final grade 12. Um, everything aggregate symbol, uh, it is not compulsory. Leave it since uh, examination number. It is compulsory. Uh, I don't remember it. Matriculation type, uh, sorry, status, have you completed it? Uh, let's click uh, school uh, living certificate. Then after that, you have to enter our subjects. Uh, let's start with um, English. Where is English? First edition. Record level. 
indicate then go to the next one so let's do the same thing to the other ones Then after you've entered your, your result, you can delete them. If you made a mistake that uh, this one is wrong, you can click here to delete it and everything. So we have you studied at a Tishal uh, University institution before you can click no, 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 if you did or click yes. This indicates if you wish to, uh, to gain access through your recognition of prior learning, you can indicate that one. Okay. After that, you click submit. Then you will have to enter the information of your institution here, enter student number, uh, from which year you will indicate, uh, to which year you will indicate, name of the institution, if it is a university, then you choose, uh, then you choose the name of the university. Then the qualification name. Okay, you can indicate um, the type, is it a diploma degree? Uh, then is it complete or not? Yes, you click yes. So just like that, it has been added on whatsoever. So you can click delete if it is wrong and everything. Then here, um, you'll have to write a motivation and everything um, you want to write. Then after that, you click submit. So you are done with that. Then here they will need someone who is responsible for the payment. You can click, let's click self so that they will enter in for your information and everything. But if you know that there is someone, maybe a spouse or parent or guardian or other, you can click there and enter the details. Then income, annual income, let's say um, between this one, let's see uh, number of uh, dependents and everything, uh, say four. Uh, yeah then check if your information is correct and everything your addresses and everything if it is correct your email address then your telephone number it is needed uh, then let's continue Okay, sponsor employment details. This one you can jump it. It is not commercial. Then you click submit. Then you are coming where you have to indicate if you want grant and bursaries and everything. Have you ever applied for or do you intend in applying for grant or scholarship? Yeah, obviously click yes. And uh, name of a grant or scholarship that you would like to apply for, let's say NS first. Uh, value of grant, uh, you can leave this, it is not commercial. You can also leave this, it is not commercial before you make any mistake and everything. Tuition, what does it cover? Obviously, do not know, leave all of this, it is not commercial. Do you wish to apply for financial aid? You can click this one, here's the grant, and this has been approved. We are not yet, let's say, click pending. Uh, May we forward the may we forward the information to the potential sponsor? You can click yes and everything. Then click. Something. Then after the tutorial, come to this one. Um, where it says alumnus. Uh, this is not called Barza, but it is for people uh, who have female people. I think so. We have completed university, but you can leave this. It is not commercial uh, before it cracks your mind. Then you cl just click submit and everything. Then the last step is where you have to declare. You read all of this information, uh, this declaration. Then you accept the information and everything. Then you click accept. Then you click submit. 
Then thank you for considering this uh, university uh, of your choice. Please remember to make note of your application number displayed below. No application fee is payable, so you do not have to pay uh, the application fee and everything. So this is your application number, so you need to uh, keep it just in case and everything. So the, the documents that are required, please note that your selection cannot be financed without the following documents. Number one is uh, all South Africans. We need a metric certificate. We need a copy of your ID. International student, they need this. Ooh, you can click here to read the required document for you and everything. So ladies and gentlemen, just like that, you have simply applied at the University of the Western Cape. Do you want any help? Please do not hesitate to contact me. My contact details will be followed in the description of this video below. Good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves.